Welcome back. Uh, last time we were exploring what happens when I add another light bulb, and I was using round bulbs. What happens when I use another light bulb, uh, adding another bulb to the loop? And uh, we saw that the bulbs got dimmer and uh, the current slightly decreased each time I added a bulb. And the term that we use for adding bulbs in that way is what we call adding bulbs in series. Uh, series is when we are uh, putting things into the same loop. And now I want to explore a different way of adding more bulbs um, by adding bulbs each in their own loop, by adding more loops rather than adding bulbs to the same loop. So I'm going to start with the same setup that I started with before. I have a two cell battery uh, with just one bulb and I want to get a reading for the compass. So getting a compass reading and last time I had a little trouble with the compass because I forgot to tape it down in advance taped it down this time. Hopefully this will go a little better. And it turns about a little over 15 degrees, I can see. So a little bit more than 15 degrees. And now I'm going to add another bulb. We can see here, I've got a little extra wire because I want to make another loop. I don't want to interrupt this loop at all. I want this loop to still exist, but I want this bulb now to have its own loop. So I'm just going to clip this on here and clip this one on here. And now yeah, I'm just going to adjust this one a little bit. And now I can see that these are glowing differently than they did when I made the two bulb series. I've got each of these two bulbs. I hope that you can see each bulb is in its own loop with this battery. Um, I could trace a closed CCP from one end of the battery through this bulb and back to the battery. I could do the same thing with this light bulb. I can trace out a closed CCP from the battery through this bulb and back, and neither one of those closed CCPs passes through both bulbs because they're each on their own loop. So something else that we should look for is how is the brightness different? When I just had one bulb, that's the brightness. Now I add that second bulb on its own loop. And I can see maybe just the tiniest of shifts in the brightness of that bulb. These two bulbs look to me to be about equally bright. And depending on the exact direction that you look at the filament, it might look slightly different. But when I look up close at these, they look pretty much the same. And adding the second one didn't seem to have any significant effect on this one. I am curious though about the current in this wire. And this wire is still the same wire as before connected to uh, the battery here at the negative end. And there was no reason why I chose the negative end other than it was easier to connect and disconnect. Um, and we should notice that the split for those two loops is coming uh, somewhere after here. Um, so both loops have uh, this wire as part of their loop. And that is something that is worth noticing. So I'm going to get a check on the compass reading. And wow. I get a bigger number. It looks to me like it's maybe a little bigger than 25 degrees. So that number is very definitely larger than it was before. 
maybe up to 30 degrees, somewhere 25 to 30 degrees. Cool. And I've got a third bulb. I'm going to put this bulb in its own loop. So I'm going to connect it the same way I did the first two. Connect here. Connect here. That's good. And so now when I finish this, then all three bulbs have their own pathway. All three bulbs have their own closed CCP with the battery. And as far as brightness goes, these look about the same as before. If I take this one off, I can see maybe a very slight change from before, but pretty small difference in their brightness. So these bulbs are approximately as bright as just the single bulb was originally. So I'm seeing a lot more brightness here. Something else that's interesting is that I could disconnect any one of these three and the other bulbs stay on. Because again, they each have their own separate loop with the battery. So last thing we need to do is get a check on the compass reading. I wonder what I'll see here. Here we go. And this looks not as big of a difference as I saw the first time. Um, it looks like maybe just over 30 degrees. Um, I wonder if I take one off, I can see that it does go down very slightly. Slightly goes down. If I take the second one off, goes down more noticeably. And if I take the third one off, then I have no closed CCP, I have no flow, so it goes down to zero. So taking that going backwards, we can see that each time I add on a new bulb in its own separate loop, then I get more compass deflection which means I must be getting more flow when I add another bulb. Fascinating stuff. Thanks. Bye.